Hey, welcome back to Built Fixed. This is part two of my Festool cabinet build series. On part one, you saw me cut the plywood to size. Now here on part two, I'll cut the dados, I'll assemble the cabinetry, and install the adjustable feet. Stay tuned, it's great to have you back. Here I'm beginning to cut the dados on the top and bottom of the sides. The dado is uh, six millimeters deep. Uh, the cutter head I'm using here for the dado uh, set stack is uh, a Felder model. So I'm using my uh, Wixie height gauge here to check the depth of the dados. And it was a little short, so I've now adjusted the height on my saw. And we'll make one more pass uh, through here to get a clean uh, six millimeters in height or depth. So you'll notice here, I'm going to make uh, more than one pass uh, through just to be certain that I've actually cut that dado all the way to the same uh, depth. Now plywood uh, almost never is totally uh, flat. There's usually some sort of bow or cup in it. Uh, it could be really helpful to have some sort of feather board here to push down and hold that plywood uh, tight down on that table. Uh, other methods of uh, cutting uh, a groove or a dado could be like a handheld, uh, handheld uh, router with a track. And that has an advantage, uh, the router, in that the base of the router is so small that it kind of fits the contour of any bows or cups in a piece of wood better. But I think the table saw is far superior with the speed of the cut and the dust collection. Alright, so I just moved the fence and we'll now cut the uh, dado in the sides that accepts the back. Uh, so here I've locked my slider to keep it stationary. The slider and the uh, rip fence both tow out away from the saw blade and they tow out in opposite directions. So you need to choose uh, which thing you want to follow. And here I want to follow the fence. So I'm pushing down on the slider and pushing towards the fence to maintain a clean uh, straight cut line. At this stage, all the parts have been sanded to 180 grit sandpaper. And then I like to uh, raise the grain before I go to finishing. 
So for that, just a paper towel and some water. Just get the surface damp. And then once it dries, uh, sand it again. I'll probably use uh, just 220 one time, very light. And then apply a, a coat of water-based poly. This uh, Festool uh, screw gun uh, drill uh, CXS has become a real favorite of mine. Uh, it's very lightweight, easy to handle. Um, the ergonomics are very well thought out. And uh, it's surprising what kind of punch that they can pack uh, given its small size. I must say I was a bit apprehensive to uh, choose uh, this screw gun when I was looking for a small screw gun. Uh, it has a very non-traditional look to it, but it's actually very, very nimble and well-balanced. And I think that if I had gone with, well, they have a model called the TXS. It looks more like a regular screw gun, but just shrunk down in size. Uh, 
this one just has a great balance to it. And I guess one more cool thing is it has a belt clip. So I don't know if you're looking for a small screw gun, maybe check it out. Here I'm using another shop uh, built and custom to this cabinet uh, template to drill with. Uh, the holes were first uh, drilled on the drill press to ensure that I would have a very uh, 90 degree uh, hole to the face of the template and, and the cabinet. Um, and if I was just going to do one or two, I would probably just mark it out in the cabinet, but this also really ensures that I'm drilling 90 into that cabinet and I don't somehow not pay attention and poke through the piece of wood. So um, yeah, whenever you can uh, use a template, it really helps to uh, speed things up. Now here I have the uh, drill bit in the chuck of the drill uh, set exactly so that it won't poke through my uh, cabinet. And now using this template here to mark out the locations for the uh, feet. As it turns out, the uh, screws I've been using for the project are too long and I don't have a uh, screw in between in size that would uh, accommodate for these feet. So I'm using my cutters here just to cut, trim back that screw a little bit. And the trash bag is a great way to contain the uh, screw and the cutoff of the screw from flying off across the room. On the next episode, part three, I will install the cabinetry, install the drawer slides, and build the Festool Sistainer trays. Stay safe, have fun on your own woodworking project, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye now.